Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the War of Three Oceans in Man the Guns. I am Count Christo. I will be your emperor for this evening. So, get ready to launch the grand attack. We are bypassing the Philippines, which is going to give us the uh, research bonus we need to get some excellent naval invasion technology with our glorious refitted screen ships to defend us and our brand new carrier deployed. That is too loud. Let me turn that down. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we've got our new carrier deployed, although he would have gone into the reserve, of course. It's so getting to that time where we should consider maybe uh, organizing our fleets properly. Not least because I want this carrier to be uh, to be veteran by the time we're ready to use it. So let's... Uh, it's still too loud. Hang on. <laughs> let's switch this carrier into the Prime Strike Force. Send him over there. And we'll see how he does. This Strike Force should also get this carrier, this Soyu carrier. The converted battleship carriers aren't as... Uh, well, actually, are they actually worse? I mean, these, these are faster. And these have some actual light attack and stuff, but that's not that useful. They do use less fuel. Less HP, though. I don't know, the converted battleship hulls look pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe we should keep using the, uh, the converted battleship ones. But, I don't know, I think the Soyuz are, are pretty good. How are the, con the converted battleships here? Are they the same kind of stats? Yeah? Alright, I guess I might actually use the converted battleships to, to cover me here. The 36 deck ones are better though, right? They have more... Oh, maybe they have a different organization? No, they have the same organization. Well, kind of me confused. <laughs> is, our, is our... Our level 2 battlecruiser even any better than our old one? Oh, see, that one's way worse. This one. Because it's only got 40 deck space. Does it have armor? No. What the heck was going on with the Roy Yuju class one? Anyway, we're going to need... These guys are training anyway, so that's fine, I guess. Okay, cool. Well, we'll sort that out when we get right up. Up against the war, as it were. All right, these guys all garrisoned up. Um, where else? Why are you showing red? Oh, because my, uh, my volunteers are hostile to you, of course. I was very concerned for a moment there. Um... Where should I have these 20 wits? All right, we should have some kind of defense over here. And because I'd re really rather kind of not look at it. I guess this... Where are the rest of these guys? They're going through here, yeah. I guess that's probably a, as good as any place to put this guy. Getting ready to uh, to hopefully push in just a little bit. Before preparing for a, you know, a grander offensive as part of a, uh, a campaign against the Raj. That's obviously low priority. So we need uh, four, four forty wits would probably be plenty to hold that front for now. Doing, still doing lots of exercising, getting crazy amounts of uh, naval expertise from it. That is costing us in terms of fuel, for sure. You can go over here, and you can sustain another couple, can't you? Yeah, so that's fine. Right. So the strike. You're the man I want leading it. Can I give you another... Yeah, we could give him Infantry Expert. He's only got one left, though. Maybe I should give him Logistics Expert instead. I think... Uh, yeah, I just don't know. I think maybe when he gets to level 6, he'll be allowed another trait. It's difficult to say. Difficult to say. Because I'd quite like him to have Amphibious. So I'm not going to give him a trait. Not even Logistics Expert. Much as I love having... Uh, Logistics expert on people. I'm not going to give that to him. Another guy for over here. Good. And these uh, retrofits are almost done already. Yep, there we go. All the retrofits done. Nice. Suddenly very short on steel. Let's get another lot from uh, from there. And Manguko can top me up on aluminium as well. Wow, Manguko really just... Uh, they must have just finished their... Yeah, they just finished the, the steel works and aluminium source reserves. Cool. He's going to annex Menguko as well, which, I'm, which I don't really have a problem with. Him being consolidating this region seems fine by me. Okay, about to get 150 political power. What are we going to spend it on? Um, Prince of Terror wouldn't be the worst thing. 
Infantry equipment also wouldn't be the worst thing because we've got some uh, important infantry research to get done. And also our one... I don't know if infantry research affects these. I think it doesn't. I think it's just these ones. Um, we could also start filling out, you know, our naval tree. Naval, naval tree, but our, our chief of navy and military high command stuff. Yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time. I'm going to start filling these out. Prince, Prince Fushimi Hiroyasu, something like that. I'm sure that was... I'm sure I butchered that. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Is that four over here now? Yes, good. And we've got a bunch more coming, haven't we? Yeah. So 23 of these guys. Probably going to be enough if we just want one on each of the islands. Uh, I hope. So I guess I should start pouring more into here. Training-wise. Still just support equipment we're short on. Almost. Nice. We're going to get a lot more then. Okay, already working on these 32-deck uh, V2s. Which has, of course, the uh, less... Which are cheaper. Because they haven't got the... Um, uh, these should still be higher than those. They haven't got the outdated... Need, the, the not needed, rather, secondary guns in place. Almost back to full naval production there. So what do we want the new 40s to do? Um, well, we're not quite full on the Burma front. So let's send them down there for now. And then I'm not sure... How close are these? Well, they just need that darn support equipment. When is my support deficit done? Not these days? 200 days? That's about right. That's about when the war's going to break out. So that uh, should be okay. Obviously, they're going to take a little while to ship out to some of these more distant islands. I suppose I could take a moment to, uh, to do that now while time's just going by. Just put some... Get some garrisons going on all these places. Since, you know, I don't really want to go speed 5 just because I don't want to miss stuff. And uh, I often feel that going on speed 5, it just, it makes you, makes you soft. <laughs> it makes you not pay the attention you really should to, uh, to some things sometimes. I think that is a Pacific fallback line. But this here is a home fallback line. Construction 3, nice. Um, we could get more fuel from refineries. We've got quite a few refineries these days after all. It'll be another almost 200 fuel. More resource gain overall, also good. That helps with actual fuel extraction too. But we we need... Yeah, no, I'm going to do these. And I'm going to spend to make them faster. Yeah, that's what we're spending the fuel on, basically. We're spending fuel... And this is, this is the really good thing about fuel and XP spending and that kind of thing. We're spending civilian factories to get fuel, to get research... To get XP, to get research speed. That's the kind of almost production chain-esque strategic thinking that's been added in by fuel and I must say I'm very pleased about it. You guys can be the new army I guess just waiting on the home front. Um, how many we've got coming? Uh, well I'll reduce that down so it's one full army it's gonna come deploy there and then start training another one I guess. Oh, we can also fit in a couple more marines so I will do that. Um, we don't have enough free light tanks for a division, do we? Uh, almost. Let's start getting a, uh, a single light tank division training then. And a second one just, you know, in the works. Oh, there's one line of those. And then give me another... I don't know if I need another set of 40 widths. But give me give me one more army just so I'm kind of comfortable. Well, we're out of manpower now. Okay, well, I guess I won't build them. In which case, let's start diverting production. Uh, we've got plenty of infantry equipment. Well, probably not plenty. Let's take three, uh, a few here. But I'm going to want these factories with high production efficiency on infantry equipment so that I can uh, rapidly begin producing um, the next tier of infantry equipment without really heavily compromising my production efficiency. Oh, we're actually getting pushed back here. Some serious offensives from the uh, from the French and British and and British Raj troops present here. Well, we better start falling back before we have risk of encirclement. But that's good. We're getting lots of XP out of it. So I have no objections. Concentrated 3 coming out is going to help. That's another 10% uh, dockyard output. Lovely jovely. That's what I like to see. You're not going to be overrun, are you? No, good. Looks like we might just hold here. 
The one going south should uh, should still do so. All right, bypass the Philippines done. Do I want to do this immediately, or do I want to do one other thing first? I kind of want Siam, but I think I, I think I am going to get them through war rather than by getting them into my faction. Um, or maybe I think if I strike at the Dutch East Indies now. There's a possibility that they don't join the Allies because they hate Britain so much. So let's let's do it. Let's strike at the southern resource area, which means we need to organize our fleets. Now is the f we're in the final 70 days, which means it's time to stop exercising and start getting real. So do we just put everything into our main battle fleet for the invasion support in this region? No, I think we split into two groups and we launch... Yeah, I think we go in two groups so they can definitely... There's enough around to protect multiple invasions. So you guys, everyone stop exercising. And everyone go back to your assigned bases. Maybe I should have stopped slightly earlier because uh, I need want to be completely certain that we have enough... Uh, enough time to get everyone repaired up. That's what's going to repair Taiwan. No, that's fine. You can, uh, you can stay there. Okay, uh... So the subs are all based out of here. I think I base the subs out of somewhere further away. Or maybe, actually, now we have more sub forces. Maybe we base the subs out of here. Yeah, that works. Because it's relatively close by. I mean, maybe it would be equidistant just to send them all the way home. But I think this should be an okay place to base them out of. And then we can raid over there. And we need to dispatch these reports. So they're going to be raiding kind of this whole region. Now that we have far more subs than I was uh, initially expecting. And does the reserve have more subs for me? It does have one. So he can uh, get merged into one of these task forces. The miners are going to uh, head down here and try and... Well, I mean, the miners actually... What I'm going to do with the mine... Yeah! <laughs> okay. I'm going to start building some more mining uh, boats. Ooh, we're actually at our... Uh, God, we've got loads of uh, damaged early destroyers. They were not doing very well. Let's uh, let's get those bad boys repaired as soon as possible. Um, we should start building some mining ships so that we can mine up the, the Pacific. <laughs> and just before we go toward the US, just fill this area with mines so they have no possibility of attacking us and no possibility of moving big fleets around in this area. Yeah, especially the Mariana, Bismarck, and Eastern Micronesia. If we just fill this area with mines, then they won't be able to move their big ships through here safely. That's a great, that's a great plan. Though I say so myself, I think that's going to be really good. Okay, anyway, you guys are returning home. You guys are returning home, including each of these. Yeah, good. The fleets are going out now. L let's work on getting these um, scout fleets the best they can be. Uh, so I think we're going to want... Do I have any of the good cruiser class now? Yeah, so here's a... Those are screens. Yeah, so actually, screens in the reserve. New screens that I've built. I want to uh, I want to take them out. And actually put them into the uh, forces. Why can't I deselect this? Right click? No. How do I deselect? Shift click isn't working, as you might expect. I mean, if I unselect and click, it's just going to... Is there really no way to deselect these? That seems odd. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, screen. Good. So these guys are all the new screens we've built. And these are also screens. Yes. So you guys, U12, are our, our most advanced screens. And none of them are available for technology. Oh, no, sorry. If I, uh, is there a select all? I can select half of them. No ship designs available for these guys. Some of them are a little bit damaged, which is unfortunate. Um, so we'll need to send them for repairs before we actually get this get this show on the road. Let's send them in here. Or oh, here, let's send... Yeah, just everyone everyone go here and go repair. Or well, here, yeah, repair now. And you guys uh, repair now. Yeah. Okay, want to be everyone, everyone needs to be at full health in preparation for this offensive. You guys look like you are. Cool. We'll let them repair and then we'll organize them into uh, into different different groups. How many of them were damaged? I don't necessarily remember. We've got this early heavy ship took some damage as well. Uh, we need uh, 
some more ships to get these get these done. Very short repair queue. And we can yeah, we can slow down production on these because none of those are gonna finish before the war anyway. Weren't we trying to hold off until these were finished to actually start the war? <laughs> I think we were, weren't we? <laughs> Let the giants sleep. They passed the neutrality act! Yes! Oh, that's good news. They're still getting they're still improving their, their economy and stuff, but the neutrality act means they're not gonna do much for a little while. They are gonna be able to lend lease though. Yeah, I thought we were waiting until these had finished before we were going to war. Let's let's continue let's stick to the plan. We're not going to war until these two have finished. But still, there's no harm in organizing the fleet now. Okay, so are you guys not repaired yet. Getting there. God, it's so slow to repair the big vessels. Oh, free civvies. Got any 100% for me? Yes, we do. Let's concentrate industry 3. And I would love this. But can I afford to not do, do these? Or maybe not, really. Alright, we're short rubber now. Let's import some from Brazil. They're not likely to be a threat. And I do want I do want my fuel reserve to be full in time for war to start. So let's let's get it topped off. How are my Iranian volunteers doing? Not badly. If you would uh, go and reinforce up there, perhaps. It's not not go in there. It's not mountainous, so it doesn't seem well advised to go up there. They're breaking through in the north, but the Iranians should be moving in to defend. Oh no, they've they've adopted a new defensive position behind the mountain line, which doesn't seem great. Oh, but they actually I thought they beat this guy. I guess they beat him and then immediately stopped attacking him. Well, that's good. So we didn't really need to do that focus right now, but that's fine. Oh, we can now just favor the navy or favor the army. Why would I do this? Doesn't seem to do anything. Let's let's save and just find out what it does. I don't consider the saves going, because it's the kind of thing that just should be explained, really. So if I just do this, what does this do? That's the same as what it was a second ago, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what that does. Yeah, see, that just it just deleted itself then immediately. Maybe once a daily tick. No, all right, let's reload that. I'm not spending fifty points for nothing. <laughs> I wonder what that does. It must do something. If I remember, I'll read the code at some point. All right, no doing the favor decisions. So that doesn't seem to do anything. So we can just close the inter-service rivalry thing. Then we don't really want to uh, get involved in that. Um. And it looks like we're going to take uh, Indochina by force, rather than just demanding Indochina that way. Uh, is there anything else I really want to do? I don't think I want to do that. Or those. Um, I mean, there's... Uh, three civilian factories for 60 days to get 12 aluminium. It's pretty good, but uh, I need the political power. I think maybe we don't do this now, in fact. Knowing that we don't want to declare war. Because I, really I, I really do like the idea of having my big battleships ready. So let's cancel that focus. It saves 10 days of your progress towards it. And instead, spiritual mobilization would be a very good choice. Base strike stuff would also be good to have done in ahead of time. Let's do spiritual mobilization first. Producing behind time stuff. Just the uh, 30 BBs? Yes, cool. And we've got all the repairs done? No, quite a few left to do. What I want to know is... Oh, right, a damaged, uh, damaged carrier there. Many things repairing up. God, that one's going to take two months. Wow. So can I add more than one dockyard onto the repair of, of this one ship? I'm not sure. I, I don't really understand. Like, it's not, it's not using all these 20. It's only using 11. One, two... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it appears to only be using, able to use one dockyard per ship. It looks like. Hmm, interesting. Alright. We've got the more, um... The better, what do you call it? Industrial technology, which means we can now do this. So those should get deprioritized. And there I can get some more, there I can get some more. Nice! Hundreds more dockyards! My navy will blot out the sky! Somehow, <laughs> I guess my my uh, my naval planes will blot out the sky. <laughs> All right, there's decryption. 
which is going to tell us about what on earth Britain is up to. Or was it Germany that we didn't know? Germany's on coal liquidization. Air rearmament. Alpine forts. That makes sense. They're being pressed quite hard. We're holding okay over here. Next thing we need to research. Um, better naval r radar would be pretty good. I'm getting those naval radars. That, that uh, radar station itself up would be good. Resource gain efficiency. Also very good. Let's do resource gain. We can build level 2 radar now, I think. Yep, yeah, so let's uh, let's do that. Do you want to do that as a priority? Hmm. I could put naval radar here over the, to, to give us coverage over the South China Sea. We might well want that, actually. But maybe I should put it out of Taiwan to give a bit of courage on the Philippines. Or here. Let's put it here. To get a bit of coverage on the South China Sea. And then once we upgrade it later on in the game, it might help us cover the Philippines. And sure, down here as well. Let's, uh... No, we shouldn't do that right now. We shouldn't do that right now. We can build these later. We're, not, we're hoping not to be at war with the uh, USA just yet. So I don't think we'll do that. Okay. Where... What else should we be doing? We could build more synthetic refineries, of course. Get more fuel gain. 62 fuel gain is pretty good. Because we're not going to want to import this fuel from the Soviets forever. It really, it's just, yeah, it's not good. Plus the Soviets might fall to Germany. But they're just so expensive. There's advanced machine tools and the magnetic detonator. Nice. We need better infantry guns. And we need better breakthrough. We also need better artillery. And this... Does this actually upgrade the air attack of... It just It's only showing these three. I wonder if it also does it for the anti-air on ships. I have to assume it does. Let's get that. Okay, in the next episode, we will complete our spiritual mobilization and we're moving ever towards the day when we can deploy the glorious 30 BBs. What are these going to be called? I don't think I can see the name before it's deployed, but still, going to be very cool. And we will launch our grand offensive against the Allies' strike for the resource area. See you next time. Bye-bye.